Today we're having a look at Unity running on the M2 MacBook Air. Now this is the 24 gig variety and compared to the MacBook Pro, this is the base model MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip in it. And these are about very similar in price. And if people are looking at these and comparing them, I wanna see how they differ as far as uh, Unity build times, creation of the project, at which point do they throttle if at all. And we're gonna listen to uh, the tree getting cut next door. It's just, ah. Uh, why now? Here we go. We got version 2021.3.8F1, which is an Apple Silicon version. These are both Apple Silicon machines. And from my tests that I've done previously, Apple Silicon version is pretty well optimized. So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna kick things off with just a Hello World project because everybody knows that, everybody has that on their machine and you can compare your own numbers to what I get here. So this is gonna be the 3D core template. I'm gonna call it AZ1 and create project. Now I'm gonna throw up a timer on the screen so you can see how long it takes, but the timer will skip around so you don't have to watch all the boring bits like I do. Like this video if you appreciate that. <laughs> All right, and boom, project is being created. Let's see which one of these machines finishes it first. It looks like the Mac Pro is a little bit ahead. Of course, the MacBook Air doesn't have a fan, and this is gonna be some intense stuff here that's gonna be involving the GPU as well as the CPU. Now, it looked like the MacBook Air actually finished creating the project first. Hmm, who knew? Here's our sample project. I'm gonna go to file and build settings just to show you that we are targeting the uh, universal architecture. So we got Intel 64 bit plus Apple Silicon in our build. And I'm gonna go to clean build down here um, so we can just get a clean build. I I've never built this before, but I don't know. And let's go. Oh yeah, we gotta type in the name for our build for our output. And hopefully when I hit save, that'll work and start the timer now. Now this should be the quick one. Then we're gonna do a bigger project in a bit. And it looked to me like the MacBook Air finished first again, although it's way too close to call. I don't think that really matters that much. So who is doing Hello World applications out there? Anybody? No, I didn't think so. Let's do a bigger project. And by that, I mean, I'm actually going to import some large assets into this existing project to see how long the import takes and then how long the build takes with the extra assets. So I'm gonna go to Window, Package Manager, and I already have under My Assets, I've already downloaded this one, the 3D game kit. So I'm gonna import that. Let's do that at the same time on both of these. And I don't think it's gonna start when I hit import. I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions first. There we go, we got a warning. Importing a complete project will overwrite your current project. Sure, sure, sure. Let's go and click import. It may start now, but it may also give me some other warning. Hold on a second. <laughs> we'll see. You never know with Unity how many questions you'll get before you actually get your build or whatever you ask it to do. Ah, another warning. This uh, Unity package has a package manager dependencies and we are gonna install them. It might start now. Okay, I think it's actually doing it. So we're gonna time this part right here. Oh, again? Well, that was just gathering the assets, right? But the MacBook Air did that faster, again, just by a little bit, not much. All right, here's where we're actually going to import and we're gonna import all the assets and let's go. Okay, this is the one that's gonna take a little bit longer. So we're gonna time this one as well. Ah, not yet. Okay, another question. Auto quality set. After I click this one, that's when we're gonna start the timer. And let's go. <laughs> I'm not a Unity developer, by the way. All of you out there that are Unity developers are probably laughing at me. You're used to this already. All the questions that you get. But in my previous videos, I did attempt to uh, build through the command line and that's not exactly uh, ergonomic, but most people that are gonna be developing with Unity, I'd imagine are gonna be using the IDE. So you're gonna be dealing with this UI stuff all the time anyway. All right, while this is happening, I do have uh, Azitop running. Azitop is a Python program that you can run to visualize what's going on. So if we take a quick look at that, we're seeing that there is no throttling going on yet because we're not building. Yeah, this is what it looks like on both of these machines. We've got good utilization, but no throttling. Now the difference between these machines is of course, there's a CPU difference. The MacBook Air has eight cores, four performance, four efficiency. The MacBook Pro has six performance and two efficiency cores. So there's gonna be that difference. And there's a difference in the GPU. This one has 14 core GPU, while as the MacBook Air only has a 10 core GPU. We might see the GPU differences, although the GPUs are newer GPUs and they're supposed to be much faster than the older GPU cores. So it's a good, good comparison, no? We're gonna see the results of that uh, when I actually run the game at the end. Maybe we won't see any difference. I don't know. Maybe they're so equivalent that it's not gonna matter. We're still importing. Oh, is the MacBook Air done importing? <gasps> 
The MacBook Air finished importing first. And this one by a bit. Let's see what the final difference will be. Interesting. Oh, we got the beach ball of shame on the MacBook Air. What's going on over there? This one doesn't have a beach ball of shame. I can close the import package manager but this one has a beach ball of shame can i close the package manager no is it still doing something so it looked like it finished first but i got the beach ball not sure what's going on right now with that can we look at power metrics here oh as top basically is a ui gui on a command line not really a gui but it's a visualizer for power metrics which comes with mac os so we're not throttling um, nothing crazy is happening here. Swap is inactive on both of these, yet the beach ball of shame persists. I forgot who came up with that. One of the commenters mentioned it. The beach ball of shame. I thought it was pretty good. Whoa, what's, what's going on with this one? Unity always surprises me. Um, I thought I've tested this enough times, but every time there's something new. I don't know what's going on with the MacBook Air. The MacBook Pro under assets already has 3D game kit. That's the one I just imported. The MacBook Air does not. All it has is a beach ball, and I don't know if it's done or what it's doing right now. There's no feedback here, and this is just not fun. So I'm gonna keep this part in the video because, well, you might run across this issue too. And I'm gonna do what you typically do when things don't go your way. You just quit, right? No. We don't quit, we're gonna do this again. Reopen the project, and opening the project takes about the same time. And there's 3D Game Kit. Looks like it just, for some reason, didn't update the UI of the IDE, but it's there. Okay, the next step that we're gonna do is uh, build. File, build settings, and we're gonna do a clean build here and see how long that takes. Let's go. Gotta put in the name, AZ2. I'm so creative with my naming, ain't I? After this, we're gonna start the timer, and let's go. This part takes a while, but we're gonna leave the timer running and fast forward that part. By the way, while this is building, I wanna thank the members of the channel who's been, some of you have been members for over six months now. So thank you very much, I appreciate that a lot. If you also wanna support the channel, uh, which allows me to do these videos and keep getting machines in here to do these tests and builds, there's a join button down below. But it's okay if you don't wanna join right now, a subscription is free, just hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more tests coming up. All right, now this is building, so let's have a peek at power metrics. Ooh, look at that. There's our difference right there. Our first sign of trouble on the MacBook Air. It is a fanless design. That one is throttling right now. Not terribly, look at that. We're at uh, 2900 megahertz. <laughs> so yeah, the power draw is uh, 16 watts on that versus the 24 watts on the MacBook Pro. And the MacBook Pro is not throttling at all. Let's see if there's anything going on that activity monitor can show us. As far as memory goes, we're good to go on that one because both machines have plenty of memory for this particular task. And on the CPU side, you can see that we've got the compiler working multi-threaded. Of course, that's all under Apple architecture. As you can tell by the CPU history there, um, all the cores are being used up. Efficiency cores are being used, uh, performance cores are being used, so there's good utilization there. Now, the MacBook Pro is hotter than the MacBook Air right now, probably because the MacBook Air hit a certain temperature and then came back down once it started throttling. But the MacBook Air right now is at 84 and the MacBook Pro is at 94. Looks like the fans are on on the MacBook Pro, but you can't really hear them. I can hear them when I put my ear right next to it, but it's very quiet. I can hear that tree being cut a lot better than the MacBook Air. All right, let's get back to our window so we don't miss the final event of the build getting finished. I can't tell which one of these is ahead, but I'm gonna guess the MacBook Pro. Okay, we got a winner folks and it's the macbook pro yeah still waiting for the macbook air to finish i hope soon it'll be done but that throttling is not helping it at all now, i don't know how many people are going to be using the macbook air for unity projects but i thought when i saw this i thought that this would be a worthy thing to show in a video because if you are doing game development and to be more specific unity game development and you're considering buying a new machine and you're deciding between these two I don't know how many of you out there, but hopefully this will help you out. This is where the big difference is. Now, you're not gonna be compiling the full build all the time. I don't know, maybe you'll be doing this once a day. Maybe you'll do it once a week. Most of the time you're gonna be doing incremental builds, which are gonna be a lot less than this. And the MacBook Air is finally done. So there are the times for you right there. Big difference, right? Now, the MacBook Air is down to 58 degrees and the MacBook Pro is down to 56, about the same. The next thing for us to do is see what gameplay is like if we're gonna be getting a significant lag on one of these machines or the other. Now, Apple Silicon in general um, hasn't shown to have 
that great of a gameplay. Uh, it's okay, it keeps up, but it's not as good as a dedicated NVIDIA card, for example, as I've shown in my video where I did the Mac Studio versus uh, an Alienware machine. I'll link to that video down below if you wanna check that out. All right, here we are. I'm gonna start this project up and see how long that takes, and let's go. And that took about the same amount of time. All right, I'm gonna start the game here on both sides, and let's take a look at the stats. I'm gonna restart that level. And uh, what are we at right now? Wow, there's a clear difference just sitting there. MacBook Air is at 66, 65 FPS, and the MacBook Pro is 140 to 150, just from sitting there, not doing anything yet. I'm not even moving around yet. Let's do a little walking around and see what happens. Ooh. Yeah, that fan on the MacBook Pro is spinning up quite a bit now. I can hear it, but the MacBook Air doesn't have one, so it's struggling. Let's walk around a little bit, see what we get and get the FPS to. And it's coming down to 30s at some times, but oh, I'm a terrible game player. How do I spin around? Oh, look at that. Spinning around is just choppy. I mean, it's okay, but it's not ideal. So, uh, yeah, not the best. Let's try MacBook Pro. I wanna see if there's any signs of choppiness at all when I'm turning around. There are signs of choppiness. And it's going down to, I've seen it going down to the 80s. Ugh, oh, I'm dead. But consistently, the FPS is higher than the MacBook Air. All right, so there you go. I can jump. I didn't know I can jump. Oh, nice. Are those bad guys? I think they are. I better get away. But yeah, this one is definitely more playable. Um, I mean, you can play the MacBook Air one. Oh, oh no. Oh, they're gonna eat me. All right, so after just a couple minutes of playing, I'm seeing that the MacBook Pro is dipping under 100 FPS and the MacBook Air is down to the 30s. So a big difference there. We take a look at power metrics, definitely throttling on the MacBook Air, not throttling over here, but yeah, struggling quite a bit. GPU usage is 100% on both of them, but is down to 450 megahertz on the MacBook Air and about 1296 on the MacBook Pro. So a pretty big difference there. Both machines are really warm. Body temperature on this one is 44. That's pretty high. And on this one, 41. At this rate, neither one of these machines will last too long. But biggest difference that we've seen is in the long compilation times, which is kind of something we expected with the M2s already based on the previous test that I've done here. But this test revealed something else, which is the GPU. And the GPU is gonna struggle a little bit more, even though the cores are faster on the M2. The 14 cores of GPU are gonna count more than the 10 cores of the newer GPU on the M2. So hopefully that was informative. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if it was. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.